GPS says that I will be at Walmart at 9.29 if I don't stop anywhere. I'll probably have to stop at least once for gas, maybe to go to the washroom. I just brought sandwiches, so I'm not planning to pull over to eat or anything. I'm not going to take very much of the road. It's a pretty uninteresting drive. We're taking the highway all the way. So, uh, I will see what level. How dirty is my windshield? We made it to Walmart. We're about a kilometer from the Blue Water Bridge. So, this is our first night of boondocking. And I did put the propane on and the furnace is on. It's a little bit chilly in there, but it's heating up very quickly. It's about 10.30 and I think we're just gonna go to bed and just get up and have an early day tomorrow. Well, good morning. Probably can't see me very well, it's still dark. It's about 6.30. And it is time to hit the road. Clearly at Walmart, not everyone is happy to welcome the travelers because uh, I guess I've parked in the employee parking can make it around them. Now all the employees are starting to file in, so time to go. Well, it's 7.05 and I'm already through the border. It was pretty straightforward. Only asked me where I was going and what the purpose of my trip was. Didn't ask me about firearms, alcohol, nothing. Though I am an hour and a half ahead of schedule. I thought it'd be a fun little stop. This is right, uh, it's a little bit off the way, but not too much. And we're lucky enough to be here right at sunrise. It'd be fun to get out, but oh my God, look what we have here. The sun's already peaked behind the clouds. Anyways, that was, uh, we got here right in time for the sunrise. It's pretty amazing. Still need to stop for gas. Wait until we got in the States because gas is cheaper. rough but I am 99.99% certain that this RV dealer right in front of us is formerly Halet RVs it is now at Bish's and I'm pretty sure that this is where Josh the RV nerd is How you doing? Coming to see the museum. Ah, uh, we were hoping to overnight and see the museum tomorrow. Uh, There's four of us it, coming. Yes, that's okay today. Yeah, and you guys are gone about noon. All right, I'll let, uh, I'll let them know inside that I've authorized it. So it kind of, it's like they're pushing it way down because we've got everybody trying to move in. But there's plenty of parking over there for the vendors. And the show doesn't start till Monday, but it's all people set up. Damn. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Well, a slight change of plan. There is a vendor show going on at the museum. The parking lot is full. They have more vendors coming to set up. So they said that we can't stay there overnight. First, he told me that we could stay there. 
And then said that we couldn't stay there. And so I checked with Sonia and Jim, and they checked with Don and Charity. And Don and Charity are at the KOA in Middlebury. And they have sites all next to each other, so I guess that's what we're going to do. We're going to stay at the KOA. And we can come back tomorrow to see the museum, but we can't bring the trailers. We'll see you at the KOA. Good morning, uh, but I didn't film a lot last night. We had a small fire and I did the live stream. You can watch that here. I'll put a link up. Have you ever done a would you rather to? Yeah, no. no. Would yeah. you rather squeeze your nuggets or? <laughs> it, it be, I, I mean, eat your butt. Fever. Fever. Nuggets. Also, Charity and Sonia made me eat a s'more and Sonia posted a short, so I'll put a link to that here as well. This morning we're going to the RVMH Hall of Fame and there's a vendor show going on so let's see how that turns out. The RVMH Hall of Fame warrants its own video so keep an eye open for that coming soon. Hello! <laughs> we're leaving! <laughs> so we left Middlebury I don't know, 1, 12 30. We got back from the museum, we hitched up. Uh, Sonia has walkie talkies, so we're all in communication. Anyways, we should be at Lake of Dreams by about 4 30. <laughs> M23 and we're hanging out with Sonia and Merton and Sue. Hello everyone. <laughs> it's you again. It's me it's again. It's you again. <laughs> Not saying the roads in Michigan are rough, but I took this out of the cupboard and the handles come off the pot and I can't find the other screw. All right, I'm cheating a little bit here. I made this keto chili earlier this week and I'm just heating it up. In fairness, I have no time to cook. I'm busy socializing. Now it's time for a fire. Because I was going to get the axe out and cut them in the oven. You just, it'll work. Let me find Ed, the professor here for fire. He is I, the, I the I Inferno am the, King. I am the Inferno King. Inferno just King. ask, ask, ask Fatima. It's, it's as close as I'll get to a rant on my channel. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> And I'm, I, I'm like dripping. All you could see was the gold braid on my, on, on my package. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can tell these stories on you. Maybe Jim is right. Stories from Michigan should stay in Michigan. Good night. Lake of Dreams campsite is located in Merrill, Michigan, just west of Saginaw. $38 per night for water and electric. That is awesome. Stop looking at it. <laughs> I know, it's so <laughs> making sure I'm not near the trees anymore. You are so high. You are so far from the trees. Yeah, you Alright, time for some actual cooking. Let's chop some onions. And let's caramelize some. Because we're having company for lunch. And yes, it's hot dogs. Not really cooking. Yeah, yeah. Too. For the first 
Yeah, see none. No. <laughs> Too much tea, actual real tea change. <laughs> it's not Kool Aid. No, Good. I you lose. <laughs> no, I win. <laughs> Today was an interesting day at M23. Uh, you saw the hot dogs earlier. I slept in a little bit this morning for the first time during this trip. Now it's completely dark under the awning. We've got Ricky and Barb from RV underway right behind us. He and her husband are staying over here. Fatima's right here. Sonia's here. And right here is uh, Charity and Dawn from Young RVers. Happy Friday, and we don't have an intro because we're doing this today from um, our my mobile device here. I hope it sounds good. good. Barry Eddie Jones, hey Robert, where are you? Nice you are in the lush green state. Let me tell you, West Coast IPA from Ottawa, Canada. Brought to us by Trailer Traveling here. Uh, let me let me show you our live audience real quick again. There's Trailer Traveling, the RV DJ. And I'm sorry, I the young RVers. Uh, Ely is making a cameo appearance today, and <laughs> Fatima. 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 Travel Dreamer 46. One thousand dollars. There were some really, really good prices at the RV show compared at the M23 meetup with a bunch of great folks here, uh, RVers, YouTubers, fun people, uh, and uh, she's gonna do the karaoke. Today's karaoke. And you're gonna do your live stream? I'm doing my live stream. Yeah. And karaoke. G Gordon and I are doing karaoke. They're, Both. they're karaoke yeah, across the street. Oh, uh, you're not doing karaoke? No. no. I'm doing oh. my live stream at the site. I think, oh. Tomorrow, Tomorrow night, night is my so gig. So I didn't read the program. Tomorrow, Tomorrow night, night, is, night is your gig, yeah. yeah. Okay. To all the girls I've loved before. Officially time to leave M23. The weather is beautiful. I hate to be leaving, but it is time to go. I do have to be in Ottawa for tomorrow, so we're going to do a 12-hour drive today. There's probably not going to be a heck of a lot to see, but stay tuned. Next time we take you on a tour of the RVMH Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana. Complete with Herb Alpert and the bird from KYD. So join us, our next adventure is just around the corner.